The state of meditation research is really exciting. You know, there's been a tremendous amount of growth in a relatively short amount of time. So for those of us who are really keeping up with reading the studies as they come out, sometimes it's even hard to, to catch up <laughs> with, with the most recent studies that our colleagues are doing all around the world, really. But a couple of the most exciting aspects are, number one, we're really starting to hone in on this sense of what's happening in the brain in association with particular aspects of the net meditative experience. In particular, the aspect of the changed relationship to our thinking process. So the mind supports awareness, and the mind also supports all kinds of contents that arise within awareness. And we're getting to the point where a number of people are really starting to tackle that question of what's going on in the brain in those times when awareness is present, but some of the content, the kind of self-narrative or the specific uh, instantiation of representing this or that has dropped away and instead what's really in the individual's awareness is just awareness itself and this kind of expanded inner state. So we don't know the answer yet but we have some clues that have been coming out and building upon each other over these last few years and I think that understanding that will really give us a lever towards using the science to then help inform how to help more people experience this kind of inner freedom. What's become clear is that the mind and the body are in a two-way relationship with each other all the time. So the body is sending messages into the brain which have a manifestation in mental awareness and mental awareness is somehow mediating processes in the brain that then have impact on the body. And so, the, if nothing else, one can conceptualize mindfulness or meditative practices as mind-body practices. You know, practices where the mind is really specifically engaging both with itself and with the body in, in specific ways. And more than anything else, what the, the research at the, in the clinical domain has shown is that engaging your mind in that systematic way with the mind-body interaction actually has healing effects, you know, both on psychological disturbance as well as on many different manifestations of physical illness in the body. Well, it makes a lot of sense that in the early stages of meditation research, we focus on those aspects that have a very great deal of correspondence between basic mechanisms of the psyche, you know, attention, uh, general sense of well-being or anxiety or depression. There's also a, a real depth to the meditative journey, which is born out of this human desire for understanding ourselves and meaning in the universe. So the future of meditation research is really an initiative brought about to engage in a discussion about how we can start to plumb those depths from a scientific point of view. <laughs>